Hello, I'm Sarah Bruegel, writer of Creation Clues. In just a few minutes, some kids are going to be joining me to help me sing the radio isotope song that I wrote about radio isotope dating of rocks and fossils and the age of the earth. So often, kids and their parents will see movies and books or museum signs that say how many millions of years ago this dinosaur supposedly lived or that mountain took to form. Often these numbers are stated as facts without a good explanation of where they came from or how reliable they really are. I love science and I love teaching about and learning about radioisotope dating like carbon-14. These methods are where we get a lot of the ages for our rocks and fossils. I like to teach kids about these things in a way that's hands-on and easy to understand. You don't have to have a degree in chemistry or physics to understand how these dating methods don't prove that Earth is billions of years old. Actually, when you study the science behind it, you can find that it lines up a lot better with the biblical view of just a few thousand years. I like to use this song I wrote to help kids remember the main points I try to teach them in my Where Do Fossil Ages Come From? workshop. Points like Earth is not billions of years old, they did not come from pond scum, but are created in the image of God. We haven't seen all of what has happened throughout history. Decay rates of radioisotopes may have changed over time. The flood, the global flood mentioned in the Bible, dramatically reshaped our Earth, and most importantly, God and His Word, the Bible, are always true and reliable. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the Radio Isotope song.